There are many ways you could attach weapons or other props to your character in Cascader. I will first show you the easy way, then the harder way that is described in the official Cascader documentations. And at the end I will show you how you can control two-handed weapons easily. I got this CC0 model from BlendSwap, I made some changes to it and fixed some issues, so you can download it from the link in the description and follow along. An easy way to do this is to make the mesh of the sword a child of the hand bone. You can do this even after rigging your character, and your sword mesh doesn't need to have a rig. So you just import the mesh, and then position it in mesh mode around the hand. So the, a quick tip is to copy the location of the hand bone, and then in mesh mode paste it to the sword, but actually paste it in global mode, and then you are halfway there. You can just move around until it's around the same position, like this. And then in the outliner, search for the hand bone, you can see it there, and uh, move the mesh under the hand bone. And now if you move your character in point controller mode, the sword will follow. A better option would be to create an additional joint that is parented to the hand, and this joint will serve as an equipment slot. And you can parent the sword directly to this newly created joint in Cascader. Okay, so before you finalize your mesh, you create box controller for this equipment slots. These are parented to the hand and positioned roughly the same way as the weapon would stay in the hand. And you can create box controllers for these joints. You can also scale them up so it will be easier to select them. Okay, and you can finalize the rig. And again, import your sword. Then in mesh mode, position it around the hand. You could also go to object mode, uh, transform, at parent, but you need to select the uh, this bone first. Select the equipment slot bone and the mesh of the sword, and then object mode, transform, at parent, and select the bone you want to parent to. And it's almost at the right position. You can move it around to make it better. And now you can move it in point controller mode, move the hand and the sword will follow. And in box controller mode, you can move this box if you can select it. And you can move it away from the hand. And now the hard way, which will enable you to have more control over the weapon, and you can use Cascader's physics tool this way. So I just rig my character as you normally would. I used quick rigging tool, and then you need to select the equipment slot bone and the end of the sword, which is quite hard, and then create the rig element like this. By selecting the equipment slot bone first and creating the rig element, uh, it will force it to move with the weapon rig. Otherwise it, will s it would stay in the hand. But if you don't have this bone, you can just create the proto-objects by selecting the joints in the weapon. Now you can set the size and the mesh of the rigid body and customize your box controller. I will make it smaller. If you select your rigid body and another joint, you can create additional you can create additional point controller which will give you more control over your weapon. Yeah, I positioned it at the end of the sword so I will be able to rotate around this point later. In order to be able to move the weapon away from the hand, you need to uncheck the bind parent option here under proto-union behavior. 
Okay, and now you can create the center of mass for the rigid body, then for the character and the common center of mass. So first select the rigid body of the weapon, create, click add, then select everything else by double clicking the first joint. Then you can deselect the weapon and create add. And now the first center of mass will be the sword center of mass. And now if you select both of the center of masses, you can create a common center of mass. And now you can finalize the rig. And you can move it away from the hand or you can move it with the hand. And you can rotate around this point if you want to. If you have a two-handed weapon, you can create quick selection for the sword and the other hand by pressing Ctrl 9, for example, and then you can quickly select both and deselect. And if you pose it like it's holding the sword with both hands, then I will hide other controllers so it won't be messy. So you have these points which will be selected if you press 9 and you can quickly change this pose and both hands will follow like this. You can rotate around the end point if you want to or use the other hand to move your weapon so it's quite a handy way. You can download the finished SIM file too, and since it has a CC0 license, you can use it any way you want. But this is not a legal advice, obviously. The creator of the model mentioned that he used someone else's texture for the chainmail armor, but I changed that to a CC0 texture from mbncg.com, which looks even better in my opinion.